The Gizmo Explorer Kit, a comprehensive solution for embedded developers. Video 2, Tour the Gizmo and Explorer Boards. The Gizmo Board is a compact, low-cost development board for embedded innovators. It combines the power of a supercomputer with the I.O. capabilities of a microcontroller. At only 4 inches per side, this board packs a punch with a performance capacity of 52 gigaflops while consuming less than 10 watts. The heart of the gizmo board is the AMD GT40E APU. It contains two powerful x86 cores running at 1 gigahertz, 1 megabyte of cache memory, and a Radeon HD graphics engine with 80 pipelines running at 280 megahertz. The board is designed for fanless operation, though it is capable of supporting an even higher performance AMD APU. A fan power connector is provided for such an application. Accompanying the AMD APU is the AMD A55E controller hub. The hub handles the Southbridge functionality, providing four 1-bit PCIe buses, a four-slot PCI interface, six SATA ports, 14 USB 2.0 ports, HD audio, and up to 102 GPIOs. One gigabyte of DDR3-1066 memory has been soldered down to the board. The board design is compatible with DDR3-1333 memory for higher performance applications. Gizmo comes pre-installed with Sage BIOS, a distribution of Coreboot. Sage BIOS has been loaded into the Spyrom on the back side of the board. Also on the back side of the board is the NIC controller, which provides for the standard Ethernet connection. A Realtek ALC272 audio controller handles the high definition audio inputs and outputs. The SATA data connector provides access for hooking up a hard disk. The accompanying power connector can provide power to devices compatible with the 5 volt source. A standard 10 pin USB header provides two additional USB interfaces. The smart probe connector allows access to the board's JTAG signals. It's a convenient connection for the Sage smart probe, which can burn flash provide interactive debug capabilities including software and hardware breakpoints and give the developer total control over all of the board's features. Conveniently located as a fingered board edge connector, the high-speed connector exposes many buses and signals developers need, including an HDMI display, two additional USB interfaces, an additional SATA interface, and two PCIe x1 interfaces. The low speed connector brings out additional I.O. signals and buses and is used to connect the gizmo board to the explorer board. Included in this interface, you will find an additional USB bus, A to D and D to A signals, GPIOs, a spy port, PWM pins, and more. Board power is controlled by a programmable power regulator. Signaling for an optional rechargeable lithium-ion battery is available over the high-speed interface. The power switch is used to switch the main power on and off to the board's major circuits. A small rechargeable battery keeps the real-time clock running when the board is not plugged in. Now, let's turn the board around so we can look at the connectors at the other end. The power supply connector supports a wide variety of DC inputs, from 9 volts up to 24 volts. At 9 volts, a fully configured Gizmo Explorer board combination with USB and SATA devices connected can draw up to 48.5 watts. Video output is supported through the VGA connector. An additional video stream is supported through HDMI on the high-speed connector. The audio connectors support two input channels and four output channels. The Ethernet port allows Gizmo to communicate over standard Ethernet connections. Two more USB 2.0 ports can support bootable devices as well as USB compliant I.O. The Explorer board included in the Gizmo Developers Kit allows access to most of the I.O. signals that might be needed for an embedded application. 
Explorer simplifies prototyping of your concepts. The low speed connector is used to connect the Explorer board to the gizmo board. A low resolution LCD panel allows status output even with no monitor connected. The SPY I2C UART allows for serial communication to most any industrial device for monitoring and control applications. The motor controller supports both DC and stepper motors. A header has been soldered to some of the GPIO signals to support input through the alphanumeric keypad included in the Gizmo Explorer kit. In addition to the GPIO, many other signals are broken out and labeled to allow for easy access and connection to prototype circuits. The remaining board space has been finished with a sea of holes to provide room for prototyping your designs and connecting them seamlessly to Gizmo. Our next video will show you how to assemble your Gizmo Explorer kit and run the built-in demo program that comes pre-installed in your Gizmo BIOS ROM.